Back with a watch list for August 8th, 2014. The uh, Stacks Trade watch list here. Uh, got a few interesting plays, but uh, nothing as good as yesterday. Um, I uh, made some good money yesterday on, on GTAT, which was a gamble, and which is on the watch list again today. And then NEO yesterday. Um, NEO was a low volume, kind of, you know... I like those plays, you know, it was just rolled over, smash and grab, turned out pretty good. Um, GTAT was a, a complete gamble, but turned out all right. Um, I bought somewhere, you know, like as it was going up mid, or, or no, it was earlier in the day, I bought and then it just kind of faded all day and banged around and I was doing other things so I just kind of let it ride and I decided to play it into earnings which is stupid it's a complete gamble but right after earnings came out I mean it shot like to 15 I covered in 1490 you know made 600 bucks so that was pretty cool even though it was complete degenerate gambling I don't like doing that but I had it back on watch list today as a short because I mean it was up two bucks after hours last night or, or roughly and but then I was hoping to maybe fade it all day or or maybe enter this afternoon if it got weak well it's already shit the bed pre-market so I'll leave it on the list but I probably won't end up playing it now because it pulled back hard and you know who knows it'll probably just be kind of all over the place today HTCH, I shorted this yesterday and got squeezed and held. Um, uh, I think I've, I've, I think I'm determined. I've fell in love with this thing. You know, they, uh, they announce it's an earnings winner technically, but from what I read, it's like their earnings were just in line with where they should be. You know, there, there was no surprises here. Revenues were flat to down. You know, it's just. Uh, I just didn't think it was worth almost a, a 100% jump. So now it fade back a little bit pre-market, but I'm still upside down. I don't know. I'm going to have a real short leash on this. That's probably actually one of the reasons why my watch list is a little shorter is because I figured this thing's going to consume all my fucking time. But we'll see. You know, it could roll over hard and, and maybe we'll uh, maybe I'll get a profit out of it. But right now it's more just kind of managing the loss. PLNR is kind of the same thing as HTCH, earnings winner, but I think this is a little better story. Um, but again, it's, it's up a lot in a couple days. I'd like to see, looks like it's gapping up this morning. I'd like to see this run, but then I'd like to do the opposite of what I did yesterday on HTCH. I'd like to enter this late day, just like HTCH. Had I waited all day for all this bullshit and then shorted at the close even though it was making new highs, it'd be tough to do. Then you get the pullback. So PLNR, same thing. I'm going to do my best to avoid this all morning. Hopefully it just grinds all day, and then I short in the afternoon. FSI is a long, hideous chart, clean water type stuff. Um, clean water is an interest of mine as to, like, as a macro, like, trend but um, but I don't know. The chart's kind of a mess. It spikes, it drops, it spikes, it drops. Um, Giga is a uh, another potential long, if I could type it right. Um, they've got some positive news this morning gapping up. I'll watch this to, uh, to push. Actually, I've got a few of those. Groupon, I traded this yesterday. Shorted it into this kind of fading action and then covered, you know, in my opinion, smartly. It, it, it looked like it could have cracked 690, so I held for an hour or so. Then it ground back. I covered basically flat. I mean, you subtract commissions and maybe a penny a share. I don't, I, I'd have to check, but I, I, I might have lost 30 bucks or 20 bucks or something, but in essence, flat. And then it, you know, spiked up this morning. I'll be kind of watching this to see which way it wants to go. I'll do my best to avoid it. Um, it's it's a real company. I try not to trade those. IDN's another one down here on the earnings winner. It's not an earnings winner, contract winner on stocks to trade. Um, another messy chart, but if this thing can pull or, or push, I'd like to go possibly go along this and see if, uh, you know, see if it can establish a trend. So, 
Um, kind of a real mixed bag, but but nothing. You know, the only stock. You know, nothing that's really in my wheelhouse with these big piece of junk companies that are up huge. I mean, yeah, HTCH is up a lot, but you know they've got real products. They're a real company. I mean, their news isn't that great. So, um, so when that happens, I start kind of fishing for some of these other type setups. So we'll uh, we'll see, but uh, nothing great today. So thanks a lot.